Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Turner Mobile Detailing. Today we're going to be doing a quick review of the Last Soap. Now, I know you've seen some of my other videos where we featured the Last Soap, such as the auto detailing music video that can be seen right here. But today we're going to see just how much protection this stuff really leaves behind. It's an SiO2 based soap and it claims to leave SiO2 layer or ceramic layer behind on the paint, leaving some form of protection either on bare paint or on a previously ceramic coated vehicle. Now I contacted the last coat directly and asked them how much SiO2 was actually in this stuff and they told me about 3%. So in a soap especially that we rinse off at the end of the wash process, I'm not sure how much 3% is really going to get us as far as protection, but we're going to find out. We're going to test the water behavior during our rinse and after we dry the car. So the directions say for best results follow the directions below. For hand use, pour one to three ounces of the last soap into a five gallon pail. Use water pressure to create suds. Wash the entire surface with a microfiber or synthetic wool wash mitt. Now it says one to three ounces per five gallons. We're actually gonna be using about two ounces in only about one and a half gallons of water for the hand wash process. Now for the instructions for a foam cannon, it says for use with a foam cannon, use one to three ounces in roughly 30 ounces of water in the foam cannon heavier concentration would yield more foam production. Now we're going to be using a 32 ounce foam cannon and I put about six ounces so that's about double what they recommend. Now I want to give this stuff the best chance it possibly can to bond to the surface so I'm going at high dilution ratios. Maybe it's a waste of product? We'll find out. But again I want to give this stuff the best chance it can to succeed. You may remember one of my previous videos when we did a basic wash on this emerald green GLE behind me. You can see that video right up here. I'm still looking for a good soap that will give me some protection left behind if I'm giving a customer just a basic wash with no waxes, sealants, or coatings. So I'm going to go ahead and get the wheels cleaned and do a full rinse on the vehicle to get any loose dirt or contaminants off. And then we're going to foam up and I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes to let that 3% of SiO2 bond to the paint on its own before we start our hand wash. So without further ado, less talking, more washing. Let's do it. Okay, so now that we've got the car initially rinsed down, the wheels cleaned, it's time to lay down a nice thick layer of foam using the last soap. So again, I've got about six ounces of product mixed into a 32 ounce foam can in here. So let's do it. Okay, so let's give it about five minutes to dwell. Okay, it's time to rinse her down. It rinses awful nice. Although I didn't get as thick a foam out of this stuff that I normally get. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the temperature. It's only about 38 degrees today. Even out of my electric pressure washer, I can usually get better foam than that. Maybe the dilution ratio is too high for foam. But that defies all conventional logic because the more soap you put in, the denser and the better the foam you're supposed to get. So, I don't know. What I do know is I'm going to put some more foam on it and then we're going to do a contact wash. If you're wondering what wash sponge I'm using, it's the Cyclone Bone from the Rag Company. It's an iteration of the popular Cyclone wash sponge, the Cyclone, which is like a 10 by 10 or 12 by 12 wash sponge, which is huge. I like the bone version because it's narrow in the center and it's a lot easier to grip and not drop on the ground. Plus, just like its cousin, the Cyclone, it's made from premium Korean microfiber fibers. This thing is super soft and pulls dirt off the panel super easy. A 
Okay, so it's the moment of truth. We're gonna rinse her down and see what kind of water behavior we get. Maybe we get beating, maybe we get some sheeting, maybe we get both. Let's find out. Now before we do our final rinse down, something that I forgot to mention earlier, and that's pretty important, is that this vehicle has absolutely no protection on it. No wax, no sealant, no ceramic coating. So it's just bare paint. So whatever water behavior we see from the soap, we can be sure that it's from the soap, not from any pre-existing coating, sealant, or wax. It looks pretty flat to me. You see a little bit of sheeting right here, but it's super slow. Let's keep on going. panel looks pretty flat to me. Really no water behavior to speak of. A little bit along here on the edges of the panels. But again, we could probably easily attribute that to just normal water runoff behavior. Here's a little bit of sheeting here on the hood. This looks like it's trying to evacuate the water a little bit faster than in other places we just saw. That's a good sign. On the middle of the hood, really we see no water behavior. I'm gonna finish rinsing her down, then we're gonna dry it off and then I'll be back for my final thoughts. Okay, so the car is totally dry. We went over it two times to make sure every panel is bone dry, but we're gonna focus on the hood for this dry water behavior test. Now we've got low setting sun, and that kind of low light is perfect to show exactly what the water is or isn't doing. First, we're gonna shoot a little water at low pressure up in the air to get a little mist. If you can see that on the panel, they're almost too small to tell. Let's shoot a little bit more. Those water beads or water droplets are almost too small to tell. We'll call that inconclusive. It's got a little bit more water on the panel. And there you have it. Those aren't the tightest water beads in the world. It's not the highest contact angle but they are water beads. Now let's see what it does with a little bit more pressure. Oh, look at that. I am impressed. Water sheets right off, and that's only 3% SiO2. The last coat, I am thoroughly impressed. Now let's test out the water sheeting on a vertical panel. And there you have it, folks. 
That is the last soap from the last coat. Again, they're not the tightest beads, but I'll be darned if that water doesn't sheet off right quick with just the soap. In my opinion, this was a very successful water test. Okay, time for our final thoughts. As you can see from the process, we thoroughly saturated the vehicle, every panel, including glass, everything, every nook and cranny with the last soap. Let's count how many times we laid down the soap. First, we foamed the entire vehicle. Then after a rinse, we foamed it again. And then we did a contact wash with the soap. And don't forget that that initial foam pre-wash, we let it dwell for about five minutes to really let it attach itself to the paintwork. And it paid off. You can see from the final results, we got some decent water beading and some water sheeting, especially after we dried all the panels and then went back and reintroduced water to the panel. So overall, I'd say this stuff is legit. 3% SAO2. If you've got nothing else on the panel, it's not bad. Even better as a topper if you've got the last coat ceramic sealant, or even better if you've got a full ceramic coating. Just by washing your car, you can add a very thin layer of protection, a sacrificial layer on top of that coating to protect it and help it reach its maximum longevity. So I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you're considering buying the last soap, I'd say go for it, it's worth it. And the money that you're spending, you're getting a full 32 ounces. Now I used a high dilution ratio today. However, per the directions, you really don't need as much as I used. I'm gonna assume that you get the same results with the factory directed dilution ratios. So I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please don't hesitate to hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future auto detailing content where we post product reviews and showcases like this all the time. As always, I'm Seth with Turner Mobile Detailing, and we'll see you in the next video.